Hi guys. If you are a Lenovo laptop user, you may have encountered a very annoying issue that the screen of your laptop went very dim. Here are three methods that can help you make your screen light up again. Method 1. Update Graphics Driver. In many cases, the culprit of dim laptop screen issue is the faulty graphics drivers. You need to update the graphics driver to the latest and correct version. Open your browser, and go to the Lenovo Technical Support Drivers page. Link website in the description. Enter the name or serial number of the device you need help with. In this video, my laptop is Lenovo IDPad 5. Go to Drivers and Software section, select Graphics Processing Units. Download the latest version of Graphics Driver. Once downloaded, run the installer file to update your graphics driver. After that, reboot your laptop and see if the problem resolves. If you don't have time, patience or computer skills to deal with drivers, we recommend you using Driver Easy. Driver Easy will automatically recognize your system and find the correct drivers for it. You don't need to know exactly what system your computer is running, you don't need to risk downloading and installing the wrong driver, and you don't need to worry about making a mistake when installing. Method 2. Press Brightness Up key when starting up. This is another fast and easy yet effective option to fix your dimmed Lenovo laptop screen. Completely shut down your Lenovo laptop. Press the power button to start up your laptop. In the meantime, press and hold the brightness up key on the keyboard, which is usually a function key, F11 and F12. After the startup, you can see the screen of your Lenovo laptop has been brightened up. Method 3. Modify registry. You can also change a registry value to fix your dim screen issue. Click on search menu, type regedit, and then select registry editor. On registry editor. Go to the following path. Find Feature Test Control and double click on it. Change the value data to F048 and then hit OK. After that, close the registry editor. Reboot your laptop and see if the problem resolves. Thanks watching this video.